Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I would share my makeup routine with you guys. This is normally the routine I'll do during the winter, just my everyday makeup, um, my brows, my lashes, all the products I use. For the winter, I usually like to go for a nice glowy look. I like it to look like my face, but better. And if you wanna see my everyday winter makeup routine, keep on watching. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is start with a lip balm. And I've mentioned this multiple times, but I love the Glossier Balm.com, specifically the one in rose, because it has a little bit of a pink tint. So I'm gonna put this on. So this is what goes on first. And I have a little bit of like a dry patch here. So I'm just gonna put that on there. Also, let's just ignore her for the video. The next thing that I'm going to use is the Ordinary High Spreadability Fluid Primer right here. I've almost used all of it. They come, they're kind of like really small bottles for a primer, um, but I've been using this. It's basically just silicone, so it acts as a nice base for your skin. So I just put some on my fingers and I just rub it in, making sure to get on the places where I have more pores which is like right around here, my nose, and just places that I want to feel nice and smooth so that my makeup doesn't go on too patchy. I try not to rub too harshly. I try to be nice and gentle to my face. Okay. The next thing I will be using is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation, and I'm the shade 260, and this is like a really good match for my skin. So what I usually do, kind of looks weird, like Instagram clickbait, but I really like to pump right onto my face because I feel like this foundation, since it dries down really fast, I just like to put it on my face right away. So I will just put two pumps on my face and then I will just start spreading it around a little bit and then working quickly. I will take my Real Technique sponge and just blend everything out. And you do have to work kind of quickly with this because it does dry down, but once it does, it leaves a nice even layer on your skin. So now that that is on, I'm gonna put on my concealer and I'm also gonna contour. To conceal and contour, I will be using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I am the shade Light 18. And then to contour, I will be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Toast. When I do my concealer, I just like to put kind of a few swipes underneath my eye, a little bit on my nose, and then some of my forehead. And then to contour, I will just kind of make a few swipes, kind of like little hash marks, I guess. Just going down underneath my cheekbones, a little bit on my jaw, and then a little bit right here. And then I'll start blending. So, I usually start by doing my highlighted parts with my concealer, and then I go on to my contour. So whenever I use a beauty sponge to blend out my product, I always make sure not to rub it, because then it'll look patchier, and it also tugs at the skin. So I always try and just pat it. I'll go in with both sides. Um, usually the flat side I'll like to bake a little bit with powder, but I feel like it's also good for my forehead. Right, now for my contour. For this I'll rub it a little more actually because I feel like with the LA Girl concealer, the contour concealer, it's like a thicker formula so it kind of isn't really 
that blendable, especially if you let it sit like I did. I don't really like to do um, anything with powder in the winter, like powder products. Even when I set my face, I do a super light layer. So I feel like with the cream products that I'm using, it won't make my face look too dry. Because I do have oily combo skin, but in the winter, my face just gets so, so dry. And using powder products will just make it look worse. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is add some blush. I think I mentioned this in my room tour. The Cloud Paints by Glossier. I've been loving these. I'm using the shade Storm, which is like a deep berry color. It looks so good. And you only need like, ooh, that's a lot. Like a tiny bit. And then I just put some on like the high points of my cheeks. Sometimes I'll put some on my nose too. Maybe I'll do that. And I kind of just pat outwards. And the more you pat, the more subtle and blended in it looks. It just looks like naturally flushed cheeks. So you can already see how like subtle it looks compared to the original color. It's a lot less harsh. I'll do a little bit on my nose. I like to do it on my nose just because it looks like nice and flushed and cute. Like you spent a few hours out in the sun. So the next thing I'm going to apply is some highlight. So I've been loving the Chantecaille Liquid Lumiere, which is like just a cream highlight. And it's just this really pretty gold champagne shade. This is the color Sheen. I just like to put some, I'll do like little stripes. So I'll put a stripe here on the high points of my cheekbones. And I'll put a little on my nose, a little on my chin, a little bit on my cupid's bow, and then a tiny bit underneath. Oh, that's too much. A tiny bit underneath my eyes. And then I will usually just pat with my finger with this. Just because it's so subtle. And the warmth of your fingers makes it melt into your skin really nicely. Sometimes if I have like a light makeup day, I'll just put some of this on and it'll look so pretty. It just makes you look so naturally dewy, which I'm always going for. I remember when I was like in high school, probably like freshman or sophomore year, I used to love wearing matte makeup. Like I would do everything matte. I would do like full brows. I would do like the heavy contour, the powder contour. I would bake my face so much and I wouldn't even wear highlight. Like it was insane. Now I'm like the complete opposite. I need to be like glowy at all times. But even if I wanna be glowy, I'll still put on a little bit of powder. This is the Cody Airspun Powder, which I always love. It's my favorite loose powder. It's really cheap, it works, it smells good. I do wanna find a cruelty-free alternative, but for now this is what I use. So I will take like the tiniest bit and I will just put it on places that I know I don't want to crease really. So underneath my eyes, because I can already see some creasing starting. And then I'll kind of just put some down here. Cause I also noticed that it kind of acts as a blurring effect. So I'll just put some there, and then my forehead, which always gets oily, I'll just swipe a little bit up there, just like a light layer. I don't even really bake in the winter because I feel like it dries out my face too much, especially my under eyes. I feel like I just look really crusty by the end of the day, so I'm not doing that. Next, I'm doing brows, which usually is the thing that takes the most time. I want my brows to look natural, but also not sparse. I will start by, oh, this is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette. So I'll start by combing my brows upwards, but then I'll kind of like bring down the hairs a little bit. So I'll just basically add 
some small swipes. I don't want it to look like I drew on a whole new brow. I just want to make it look like I was born with naturally good brows. I will add some strokes in the, in the front of the brow. So I feel like that is pretty decent. And then I'll brush my brows up after just to give it a more blended look. Plus I feel like when you brush your brows upward, it kind of like lifts your face rather than if you were to brush them across. brows are ready for some brow gel so, oh man <laughs> so the brow gel I'm using it's by Ardell but the text is wiped off and it's really dirty looking but it's a good brow gel all right the brows are looking good next I will take the Artist Couture um, Diamond Glow Powder in Illuminati. And I usually, when I open it, since I don't want to like get this powder all over me, I'll just use the cap because there's usually a lot of extra product in the cap. And I will just take my beauty blender. I will put a little in here, get it nice and glittery. And then I will just apply this and I definitely need to blend it because it can look kind of harsh especially in the wrong lighting you'll be able to see it and then taking just a small flat eye brush I'll just take a little bit in the cap here and I will go over on top I will do underneath my eyebrows and then I will go on the inner corner of my eye and then I will go over on my nose again because I really like to have a nice highlighted nose and then on my cupid's bow again I will kind of just outline the top part of my lips now before I do mascara and lashes I like to Spritz my face with some rose water, Mario Badesco rose water, just so I can moisturize it a little bit. And especially um, if I put on mascara and then do the rose water, it kind of like smudges a little bit. So just do a few of those. Now I will do mascara. So I will be using the Flower Beauty Zoom In Ultimate Mascara. I only use mascara on my bottom lashes, so I just do some small strokes. Okay, my camera stopped filming for a second. Don't know what that was about. My lashes are done, I probably look crazy. And now for the most important thing, the thing that I will never go without is lashes they're pretty much the same as like any lash that you would get at sephora they're nicer than the drugstore ones because they have more dramatic styles so a lot of people actually ask me about lashes it's funny because like people that don't know me they'll like come up to me and they'll be like oh my gosh your lashes are so pretty and they like i can't tell if they think these are my real lashes <laughs> or if they're just like giving me a compliment about my lashes, but I am not that blessed to have beautiful long lashes. These are in the number A21. I get them from AliExpress. I usually buy them in bulk around like 10 to 20 at a time because they're like two to three dollars each. And they come from China, so they take about like a month to ship. So I always get my lashes from AliExpress. I kind of just buy a bunch and then see which ones I like. So we, these are one of my favorites. 
because they're nice and wispy looking. So I just put on my Duo brush on adhesive, which I feel like is better than the normal one in the squeeze bottle because this one dries down faster. If I let it sit for a little bit, it'll stick right onto my lashes as soon as I put it on. So the technique I like to use is I'll grab some sharp tweezers and I'll put it on like the middle of the lash. And then what I'll do first is I will kind of press it down on the center and it won't really be all the way lined up. You can see it's kind of crooked. So then what I'll do is I'll pull down the bottom corner, the outer edge, and then I'll kind of press that in with my finger. And then all I need to do is line up the inner corner. And if I feel like I placed it in the wrong direction, I will just pull it a little bit because the glue's not completely dried yet. So I pulled it a little bit to the outer part because if you get the inner corner glued down wrong, every time you blink it'll be really painful. So I always make sure to take my time with this part to get it glued down right. I'm going to do my other lash real quick. So both of my lashes are on now and the last thing I like to do is put on some lip gloss just so I look nice and shiny. I like to use the Bare Minerals lip gloss in the color Spark Plug. And these smell like, they honestly smell like Thin Mints. They smell so good. So I'll just put on a layer of that. And that is the completed look. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I hope you'll go out and try maybe some of the products I suggested or use some of the techniques that I told you about. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what your uh, favorite products for the winter are. I will link all the products below for you. I will link my Instagram, all my social media things, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye. What is that noise? And then... Up. I'm not part of the Illuminati. Yet. Yes. Can we see the lash? Okay, we're done. Bye.